So you want to play a game in Switzerland? Are you sure? Are you really, really sure? All right, let's dive into it. Hello everyone, Antasil here with another game of Hearts of Iron 4, and I'm going to dive into Switzerland. Not in just one video. This will be a tutorial where I explain the new mechanics. Um, well, it's a half year old by now, but other mechanics. So you have a basic understanding of how to play Switzerland. Personally, uh, I struggled with that quite a while because everything is just so different. But it will explain better if I show you. Let's first do the first national focus, Swiss guiding principles, and wait for it to finish. This focus gives you three choices. These two are democratic. The difference is in which direction will your balance of power go. And these, this one here is the non-democratic. You um, lose democracy support a little and the balance of power changes towards the federal council. For this video we'll choose the bottom one. Next up you can choose between two sets of factories. You can also take them both. Let's start with National Defense Fund. All right here we are. This is one of the big changes for Switzerland. Every year, um, starting in February but the next year as it will be earlier, you will have an election for the president of the Swiss Confederation. You have free candidates. Those are your free counselors. You already start with free advisors. Usually you have to buy them first. One of these guys gets elected to president. Then you have an open slot and you have to fill it with a new advisor and so on and so on. But wait, there's more. All of these guys give democracy support. So you, if you want to go non-aligned, which we are in this game, you want to get rid of one of these guys and replace him with someone else. So Albert Meyer here has the highest democracy support per day. So let's get rid of him and make him president. Now we have an open slot. Don't leave it out too long. You can say, well, I can pick one later. I mean, they're free, etc. But you might not want to do that. You have a running event here. No confederation counselor. And it says if it's not completed within 20 days, and that's really quickly, you will get one appointed for you. And look at all those red numbers there. 30% minus political power gain, minus stability, and minus war support. And it takes a lot of political power to get rid of that guy. You can prevent this by picking a counselor. There is a lot of options here. I need a scroll wheel for this. Not everyone's available, and a lot of them are just very similar. There's a lot of propagandists, Democrats, appeasers, you name it. Um, some are just very interesting in what you want to do. This one here, Adolf Fuller, keep a very close eye on that guy. When hired, you can do a confederation, uh, you can do an, a decision called expand arms industry, which will gain you an extra research slot. Switzerland has three research slots and get two, can get two more, one through this advisor and one in the focus tree, which is only available for democratic nations. So you probably want to go for Mr. Fuller here. Fuller. All right, next up, what is that decision you're talking about? Look here, with the torch symbol, every president has a special decision, a special power, if you will. And in this case, because it was a democracy advisor, it's the decision called Swiss Democratic Tradition Campaign. It gives stability, which is probably one of the only ways to get stability in Switzerland. Uh, it loses you war support gain, but it doesn't actually lose you war support, I think and gives you more democracy support, uh, so that's fine. But if Fuller was our president, we would get a decision here to get a research slot. There are no advisors here that will cost you a, some um, political power party alignment, but you do have some uh, nationalists and they give you uh, non-aligned support. So if you're going for the non-aligned path of the Alpine Confederate Confederacy, you need those guys. Military nationalists, here's another one. Also 0 0.05 for non-aligned. I've seen 0 0.07, but he's not here right now. And we're full anyway. Those are the advisors, very important. As Switzerland, you always get the event chain of um, a Nazi party representative who got assassinated and you have to put the assassin on trial. So you can get this guy into your intelligence agency if you have one, but you can 
also get him a very hard sentence then the french won't like that i always go for fair trial and that does seem to be give the least amount of damage reaffirm spiritual defense is done and now you have to make a choice between which border you must fortify it's a dead end otherwise so you have to pick one of these and of course if you fortify the border with italy italy becomes pissed off and then france becomes slightly happy and so on and so on we'll fortify the border with italy because i want to show that part of the focus tree and that's the border with italy we have some choices now armed neutrality or ban foreign nazi propaganda let's talk about the focus tree and what it all needs from here on out uh, your focuses always have some uh, requirements this one requires the balance of power to be to the right of the strong council control range what does that mean here we have strong council control we need to be to the right of that well we are so that's all right but that's weird because you know all the way over here we have to be at full council control so get this early or don't get it at all you do need this one though because it also gives you a negative fascism support and you get fascism support from this fascist propaganda so this is one, pretty much a given you have to go for this one unless you fortify the border with france and go with germany so we'll do that one now let's explain a little more because what else are they doing uh, when you go further to the left here allied gold requires more than 65 percent support for federal assembly what's federal assembly that's your democratic party that's this one right here 78 percent and it's dropping because fascism is growing and we are perhaps lowering democracy support with non-aligned supporters so we need to get this one pretty early otherwise we might be locked out of it balance of power needs to be to the left of the full Cantano power range well we do seem to be getting there we are now at full Cantano power and it's going this way so it's, it's a bit of a navigation now as non-aligned we would be going for press for Alberg and then either of these two press for Alberg requires less than 80 percent support for federal assembly that, that's the democratic party it also requires less than 20 support for fb fb is not your federal assembly fb is your fascist party fascister bund or something i don't know so that's two political party affiliations where you have to look out for and the balance of power needs to be to the left of the balance between council and cantons range so that would be to the left of over here right and these demands are everywhere here this this entire range requires you to have low democracy support and lower democracy support and low fascism support that's this part here but there are loads of focuses on this side that you want to do if you go for a longer non-aligned game for instance you want to go for pro helvetia and you need the balance of power more than zero percent on the canton side that doesn't mean this isn't zero percent content side this is zero percent content side so you need to be in this range here in order to do this these two focuses these three but these are pretty much worthless uh some extra bonuses but you don't have time for that and all of these um defense focuses now you can pretty much spend the entire game here completing this tree it in involves improving some uh, some of your militia and getting some factories but you don't want all of them what you do want is either this one or this one because that's where your commander in chief is hidden these guys give quite a few tons of experience daily and there is no other guy here so you really need one of these two so if you rush for the press for Vorarlberg probably can't even do that because your democracy support is too high or your federal council support is too low you want a few of these focuses to go before that ban foreign nazi propaganda allied gold when you can get it bureau ha pro helvetia and armed neutrality and then either promote henry guizan or frontier defense plan if you're going for an online focus 
this is one you want to avoid at all costs. Do not take Federal Police Intelligence Department. Why not? It says here in very small letters that it will give you Swiss Federal Police Intelligence, which gives daily fascism support. That doesn't seem like much, but you need very low fascism support to complete these leftmost focuses. And with that small tick of fascism support on top of your fascism propaganda, you're going to have a very hard time. And I can hear you say, but hey man, Antasil, I'll just do my fascist raids and be done with it. Good luck with that. Another point here, one of the difficulties of Switzerland is that you have no political decision staff, no improved working conditions and no raids. War propaganda is here, no worries there, but you can't improve stability in the traditional way. You'll have to do it the Swiss way. Then there's balance of power. I already mentioned this a few times uh, for the requirements. For instance, if you go all the way to um, Press for Vorarlberg and either of these two, you need a lot of council control. You're currently at Canton control, as those are the provinces, and you're going for centralization. But as uh, the decisions that are here, strengthen military high command, push for centralization and consolidate council power you can take these in succession and you'll quickly flip from one side to the next but you want to take all of the focuses under uh, bureau ha and uh, armed neutrality first that you want to take that require that balance of power on the canton side so that's quite a wish list to take and now you can't take this one too late because february 1938 Germany will do an Anschluss on historical focuses. The bottom line is you do, can't do the entire focus tree. The selection is quite unclear at some times, but if you do a, a playthrough where you choose the democracy option here, you will just never go to Gotthardbund, but stay over here with closer democratic ties and do other focuses that are out of range in our current play, uh, playthrough. However, it would be a shame if you couldn't get a chief of the army because you went federal council too quickly, so be aware of that. Speaking of the decision tab, there is another one that popped up just recently, Absolute Neutrality. It's a little mini game where the three big nations that border you, Austria doesn't count anymore, uh, you must prevent them from being pissed off too much, otherwise they will consider you in breach of neutrality. You can influence this with your opinion, with some decisions and with some focuses. And we'll just improve relations with France and Germany now because they are not too happy. We want them happier. See, and another option popped up here, publicly appease Italy. Cause political power, eh, Italy will just improve relations with them. That's fine as well. Our neutrality is done and we'll uh, promote Henri Gouissant. All these focuses here, um, it will give you a minus 10 in your opinion with the other countries because they are suspicious of you. So you have to pay attention to that. If it looks all right now, it might not look so good later. We also got a new decision step here with more decisions for our militias. Let's talk about militias. You start the game with 13 Mountaineers. They are not very good Mountaineers. There are three different templates that are well, they're the same actually, but they're very small and crappy. And you can't train them. The only thing you can train is Swiss Militia. So let's train about 11 of them. Let's have a look. Well, they have eight combat with. It, it's not that bad. But they're all we can do. And our Militias are pretty crap in the field. So. We need to improve them if we are going to fight with them. And that's what all these decisions are for. You can get a new resource here, military readiness. And you can increase your readiness with some of these decisions, like a council crescent speech. And you can spend it on deploy citizen militia, which removes some of the debuffs for a while, or improve the divisions, which makes them bigger and bigger. And there are focuses that make them bigger. Militia are never going to be as good as a powerful army, and you can't really tinker with the template as much. One way to get rid of all this, and I'm sure there are more of them, but the one in this non-aligned tree that we're aiming for here is Switzerland on the offense. 
that's where all your militia will become regular infantry and you can just use the template editor again but this one will cost you 15 percent stability getting rid of the militia system will also bump you into a conscription law you're now using swiss citizen militias and that's not going to last forever of course let's have a look at those militias here let's deploy a few You can see here that our organization is never going uh, very high, 7 out of 25. And I believe that will go away if I deploy citizen militias. Citizen militia deployed, 30 days, and their org is improving. So they're better for some time, but it's uh, temporary. As we saw, we can go for Allied Gold, so let's do that now. Let's put Cuisson in charge of our army. And let's elect Alo Fuder as our president, so we can get a research slot and immediately pick someone else. We're going non-aligned, so we're taking one of the nationalists here. And uh, let's do this one. That's Allied Gold. Gotthard Bund is still out of range, probably because I don't have enough council control. Let's do Bureau H and Pro Hevecha. There is a lot of stuff here with bonuses and whatnot, but I like Pro Helvetia because of the political power gain of 15%. We don't have silent workhorses as Switzerland, so this is, well, not a must-have, but it's really nice to have. You can see I'm swimming in political power now, but trust me, later in the game, you'll be spending all of it. Also, remember that that debuff I told you about, uh, when you don't select a counselor, you have 20 days for that, right? Look at this. These guys were free at the start, and they're more expensive now. At, at some point, they'll just be 150. And if you don't have 150 PP in, in stock, you'll just be stuck with a really, really bad advisor. And you don't want that. With Fuller in command, we can do expand the arms industry and get our fourth research slot. We also got Allied Gold, so we can see here in our Absolute Neutrality Decisions tab where everyone is. Um, France doesn't really like us anymore. Probably get that up a little. We can try open the banks to France. This will be useful. They are now trading with us, and that gives us Swiss Gold Markets, Consumer Goods, Construction Speed, efficiency cap and you can um, expand the trade and then get better bonuses this is also nice for cooperative multiplayer that's bureau H. i'm not doing reduit national and i'm just doing pro helvetia which requires my um, council to be um, my balance of power to be on the more than zero percent on the canton side after that, however, I need a lot of federal control to go for Gotthardbund and further to the left. So this is the time I will go to my balance of power mechanic and select strengthen military high command. It requires 30 days and then this focus will be complete already. So I dare take it. And that's Pro Helvetia done. Let's wait a moment and see how the decision pans out here. Piss off, China's. All right, we are now at balance, and we'll push for centralization. We can do Gotthardbund now. And that will open our, the road to the Pressford Vorarlberg. But that's an entire different video altogether. Well, we have reached the end of the basic tutorial of Swiss mechanics. I've explained to you the intricacies of the balance of power, the focus tree with all its requirements for political parties, watch your democracy support and fascism support, and play around with your balance of power if you go for the non-aligned paths. Your advisors should be um, a little more clear now, as well as your militia system, and you're good to go with Switzerland. Try it out and see where you end up. 
If you liked this video and found it interesting, please take the moment to press the like button and possibly subscribe and comment. It really helps out the channel with the algorithm. Thanks a lot and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.